Hey everyone, Happy New Year. I say New Year, although that's a bit confusing to those of you who, like me, are only now just starting to receive your Christmas cards. The New Year celebrations in London included a long sequence of blue and yellow fireworks as a nod to the war in Ukraine. And I'm sure that the Ukrainian refugees watching from the banks of the Thames from the sounds of explosions and gunpowder are very comforting. Also, Pope Francis gave a talk in which he implied that members of the Mafia should be excommunicated from the Catholic Church. And on a completely unrelated note, the former Pope Benedict died very shortly afterwards. I was almost as if there's a connection there. There's a quote from the Grim Reaper saying that he saw the New Year in with a Benedictine. Uh, also, Vivian Westwood passed away. What's that expression? Fashionably late. And Rishi Sunak unveiled plans to make kids study maths until the age of 18, presumably so they can understand the Byzantine gas bill calculations that they're set to receive when they leave home. I guess the other main story would be Prince Harry's book, which has now been released, in Spain at least, uh, although the newspapers have employed some bilingual journalists to report on all the juicy stories from it. There's, for instance, a section about a physical fight he had with Prince William, which would frankly have made for far better television than that rubbish on Netflix. Harry, by the way, did two tours of Afghanistan, killed 25 people, and yet it seems he had his lights punched out by a former retired air ambulance pilot. The book is called Spare, although I'm waiting to see if James Hewitt releases one called Harry and the Half-Blood Prince. Or maybe they'll make it into a film and they can call it When Harry Met Salty. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.